Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we're actually going to be installing and creating a Mattermost server. Um, this is this server is uh, like cl team collaboration server. It's kind of it actually really looks like Slack for the chat interface, but they also have other things that kind of do like ticketing and and boards, which is kind of interesting that I haven't explored yet. But we'll show you how to create the server so that if you wanted to install in your Home Lab or do it for like a small company or just like a group of friends that you just want a private chat service essentially or team collaboration this is perfectly great to use so this video is also sponsored by me myself and i so if you enjoy the content want to sponsor me or send me some free swag my email is in the description below so okay let's get started guys okay so um first thing we'll do is log into our server so uh, 129 so Mattermost is actually, um, there, there's actually a, a community version, which is just off the GitHub that you can use and there's a Docker install. There is also a enterprise version in which they actually have a cloud um, hosted service too, if you don't want to host it yourself. So it's actually very nice. The, I mean, from the looks of it, I was actually pleasantly surprised by like how much this actually offers, um, even in the, just the free version essentially. So. If, if you are looking for like some sort of like chat that actually really looks like Slack, it like really looks like Slack. <laughs> um, this is this is definitely a way that you can go. So um, we will just do the Docker install um, through this. So we'll just go through um, the Docker version of it installed. So first thing we'll do here is actually install Docker um, on our machines, just like how we do it all in our other videos. Get the repo, do the yum install, Docker CE. Um, we'll also need Docker Compose 2. So once this installs, we will do Docker Compose stuff. Um, but we will update DNS entries here so that we can actually resolve it. Um, edit in Web IDE. Uh, make sure you update the serial number. And then we did at 129. So matter most in a 129. Commit that. Okay, so that's committed. That should install. But essentially, there, there isn't actually that much. We're going to actually use the, the section for installing Docker for production use. The main reason for this is because obviously um, we don't want it to just be a you know standalone in the Docker. Everything's on the Docker container. And when you destroy it, you lose all your data. We, we want to keep the data. That's the important part, right? Um, so we, we're going to do this. Also, we can create our certs. Um, we won't need to do this because we'll use our step CA server that we created. And if you're interested in how to set that up, there is a video. You should go check it out in my home lab series playlist. So, um, so we'll use our step CA cert. Um, and then we won't do the SSO for GitLab, but I think I might do a separate video and see if I can get that to actually work because that would be kind of cool. So, okay. So this should have finished installing. So we will, um, enable Docker. Hey, well, Docker, start Docker, and then need to get that for Docker Compose, and then make sure it is executable. Okay, so now that we have all that, um, we will need to also install get get, um, mainly because we will be downloading. Their, we will be cloning, cloning their repo um, because we want to, because they essentially have everything more or less set up. So why not, right? Um, so we'll clone that and then CD to Docker. So all the files that essentially they have it all so that you don't have to like create it from scratch. That's that's the, that's the best part, right? So we'll, we'll copy the sample config into that dot .env. We'll edit dot .env and you can leave pretty much almost everything as default here, but I would highly suggest changing anything that you would actually want to change. Um, so like I could change the cert names, but we'll, we'll keep it as default and then just rename the certs. Um, but the thing that you need to definitely change is the domain and we'll just have to do it the domain that we want it at. So mattermost.dragon.local. Um, there is other parameters that you can change. 
Um, highly recommend doing like the password stuff. Make sure you probably change that so that it's not just Matt like <laughs> MM user password. That that doesn't seem like a good password. But we're, I'm gonna leave it as default. But you guys shouldn't. <laughs> And then we will continue going through this. So we'll create the directories in here. Um, and as well as making sure that the directories are owned by the UID and group ID 2000. The reason why you would have to do this is because of how um, the users are created on the Docker container. And because you're linking the volumes together, they need to have permission. So I'm assuming that they just use, created a user on U, UID and GID for what 2000. So we're just going to do that so that files can correctly work. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is actually I'll open up another terminal. We'll log into our CA server. So that we can create the cert. So make dir and matter most step CA certificate matter most dot dragon dot local then the cert dragon uh, dragon dot local dot cert and then the key now we need the uh, password so we'll log into our vault warden here And there's a weird glitch where it, it like doesn't show up and I just have to read log in for some odd reason. Um, but that's okay. So copy that password, paste that, and now we got the stuff. So so we got the two files. So we're gonna copy these two files to our server. And then we're done with this so so we'll close that terminal out. Okay, so now if we look back at our .env, we can see that the search should be named this um, and the key should be named this. Uh, and we will need to make sure we make this directory. So we will just make the directory P. And then we will move uh, .cert. And we want this path. So paste that. And then move the key to here. So it should take the key. Key. All right. Oh. And that should be it. So now we should be able to do Docker. Um, Let's, let's look at here real quick. So set set, we're not doing that. And we're using Nginx because we are doing the HTTPS. So including, okay, so we will do this command right here, the doc compose. So now it's gonna pull all the things. So it's gonna create the database. It's gonna download the matter mouse container as well as the Nginx container to use the cert so that it will read the cert correctly. Um, so this will take a few seconds. And now we should be able to see, boop, everything is up. Um, so you can see that we won't, not, nothing is um, bad. Everything's up on the status. So we should now be able to just do HTTPS matter most dragon dot local. And now you can essentially set it up. So they also do offer a desktop app. In this case, we won't do it. We won't download it. We'll just do it in the browser, everything. But you can essentially install it on your desktop. It's similar to like Slack or like Teams. It's just an app connects to the, the workspace and you can, you know, chat and do whatever you want. So, but we'll just be on browser. So we'll create an email address. This doesn't need to be legit. And create account. So obviously by default, when you first create this, no teams will be created. So we'll just create a team, but you can create multiple teams too. And now you essentially have installed Mattermost. So a few things that I'll show off here that I found in the last, when I first installed this is, it really looks like Slack. You got your channels, you got your direct messages. You can obviously create uh, new categories and stuff like that. Um, it also does the add feature so you can, you know, add member, hey there, 
and I mean, it looks very much so like Slack. Um, but I mean, I haven't tried the call feature. I don't think I'm, I'm obviously one user. I might, I might have to play around with that. Um, but dark theme mode, they have a dark theme. So we're, we'll go with that. We'll go with the, that. Um, they also have, if you hit the, the waffle up here, they also have boards and playbooks. Um, I don't know off the top of my head what, you know, these all entail, but the boards look kind of more like Jira type planning where you can um, create and make things and then put it in like, hey, here's your planning, here's his ideas, here's the draft, here's a review, you can move the task over, create tasks. Um, so we might end up creating something of this in a different video, but wanted to kind of just call out just in case you guys are like, oh damn, I totally need that for, for my team. Um, there's also playbooks, which I'm actually very interested in to test um, because there's like this incident resolution stuff, um, some onboarding, I mean like, Th there's a lot of things that are like really nice like these templates are really nice on like hey what do you need to do in case an incident happens and you know what do you need to fill out here's all the tasks you know and whatnot so um this is actually like really good for like documentation in a way that you may or may not know um and you can actually post some of these when an incident happens into like a specific channel too um so it's actually quite nice looks very configurable so play around with it. I'll probably play around with it for, for a little bit and then see how it is um, long term. So, and then maybe create some videos on it too, because this does seem like a very cool thing. And um, they also have integrations for like webhooks and, and whatnot. So like similar to Slack, web, web hooks, you can hook up into incoming webhooks um, to do alerting or whatever notifications, um, as well as there's a system console that you can see in here. Um, obviously, we're using the free plan because it's it's just um, the trial version, um, but they do have an enterprise version which does allow for more stuff such as um, O365 integration, LDAP, um, SAML. Um, so you can see like down here, if I scroll down, some of these are locked behind the enterprise license, so I can't actually do this. Um, but, I, well, I could I could set it up for, because I have the 30-day license trial. I can just start the trial. Um, but that's just one thing to note. If you do do the free version, you won't really have um, options to do some of these features, um, like announcement banner and whatnot. So if you're looking for something that with this, um, and you would have to pay for the enterprise license. I don't know how much that costs, but you can look it up. So that is just one thing to kind of note if you decide you want to tackle this or use it. So... Um, but interestingly, MFA, um, oh, that's kind of cool. They have MFA on this. I might have to play around with that. So, but there you go, guys. That is how you set up a Mattermost server. If you liked it, please leave a comment, subscribe, or like the video. So, awesome. We'll see you guys later. Bye.